Assalamualaikum and greeting everyone. Welcome to National Digital Technology and Education Conference Naditech 2022. I am Siti Munaliza binti Muharat from College Community Klana Jaya. The title of this research is Textile Wearable Antenna Design A Review. This research was conducted with Cik Musmina Balkis binti Abdul Hadi from College Community Sebelang Jaya and Cik Wan Isma Izniza binti Muhammad Rosli from Polytechnic Sultan Idrisha. First, let's begin with overview which consists of introduction, research method, result and conclusion. Over the last few decades, the use of wearable antenna design has grown in design and application. Wearable antennas become significantly in the antenna design related to continuous healthcare monitoring, communication, military and sport. For example, in health monitoring, an antenna helps to transmit data collecting for body temperature, heart rate and rhythm and muscle activity. This activity will be analyzed to identify patients' help. There are several features to make the antenna will integrate with clothes for making electronic devices more comfortable for humans, which are lightweight, small, low power consumption, easy maintenance, as well as must be highly resistant when interacting with the human body. Then, textile becomes more convenient for the wearable antenna. Generally, textile has a low dielectric constant, therefore, in previous research textile were combined with a dielectric material such as copper and silicon to increase antenna gain, bandwidth and high efficiency. The behavior of the antenna depends on the characteristics of the material. The characteristics of antenna efficiency depend on the permittivity and the thickness of the dielectric substrate. This paper aims to review and discuss through literature and previous study the design, material and development of textile wearable antenna for various applications and also the challenge to improve antenna efficiency. Qualitative methods are, were used to answer the research question. Collecting data from published articles with research literature using Google Scholar Research Gate and Open Access Journal. With related keyword wearable antenna design or wearable antenna review or textile antenna challenge or design wearable antenna. All related articles were selected and analyzed in terms of content to identify various perspectives like types of met textile material, advantages, methodology, design limitation and issues. Researchers has found numerous articles related to textile wearable antenna from year 2003 until 2022. Some research questions are related to the previous researcher. This section presents and discuss an overview of wearable antenna substrate, design, type of textile wearable antenna substrate, and design, then discuss the limitation. The limitation includes the bending effect, coupling effect, and testing on human effect. Antenna substrate play important role in the electrical performance of an antenna. Figure 1 shows a basic configuration of the microstrip antenna. Because of the low dielectric constant for textile, most wearable antenna substrate were made from copper and flame retardant form. However, there are study done using cotton, silk and nylon as antenna substrate. Examples are shown in figure 2 and figure 3. There is no significant difference in antenna performance by using different substrate. The result indicate that textile wearable antenna can be used as an antenna substrate. The requirements for designing wearable antenna designs are minimum ratio main lobe and back lobe power radiation to the human body. Previous research found that types of textile material were recently used as antenna substrates like nylon, condura, 
Fatena, Yan, and Silk. Table 1 shows the dielectric properties of normal fabric. The most challenging for designing textile wearable antenna are humidity and moisture. These antennas will be placed on the human body part like the chest, arm, and hands. Embroidery, knitting, eversive, and weaving were techniques that were commonly used for the textile wearable antenna. Some of the research used inject printing technology but they have resilient issue but are easy to dispose of. Permittivity and tangent loss were important parameters to design a microstrip antenna. Equation 1 and 2 show the formula to find the width and height of the microstrip antenna. Change of permittivity due to moisture will affect the antenna bandwidth. Therefore, this parameter needs to be highly considered in the antenna design. Mostly wearable antenna design as smart cloth or page. Since this antenna will be placed on the human body, it becomes significant to study and analyze the bending effect. They are concave, convex, and cylindrically with different bending radius which is similar to the human arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, or in the leg, ankle, knee, and thigh, orientation, and positions. Different antenna bending directions will have different effects. Results show the different position of bending in the x-axis and y-axis in figure 5. They have no change. The resonance frequency shift because the bending position will reduce the length and width of the antenna. This study is supported by the findings of an experiment performed on the arm. When the arm is bending in L-shape, has a large impact on frequency shift while the W shape was less impact on an antenna. So, the W side is selected for arm bending. The finding for hollow and solid orientation was summarized in table 2. For fabric wearable antennas, the effect of bending should be carefully considered especially for vertical bending. But no studies have been done for a twist textile wearable antenna. Mutual coupling is described as the energy absorbed by one antenna's receiver when another nearby antenna is operating. Hence, mutual coupling reduces the antenna efficiency, performance and influence to element radiation pattern of the antenna in the both the transmit and receive mode. Since this antenna will be placed on the human body, there has an issue of coupling effect. Interaction of the human body and antenna will have a coupling effect. Different techniques were used to reduce the coupling effect by inserting slot between ground plane and antenna feed when designing. The health issues is the main consideration for rebel antenna testing. Therefore, Mostly all testing using human body mimicking or physical pentum with synthetic human skin, muscle and fat refer to the figure 8 or simulation using software. Antenna performance was analyzed both in of body and in the body pentum. Final testing will implement on humans but have fair accuracy. In some later stage of the design of body-centric systems, the model can be readily extended to include more effect and provide more accurate results depending on some specific purpose. In this paper, it has been concluded that textile wearable antenna is useful for body area network. The developed wearable antenna are mainly planar structure especially microstrip patch antennas. This is mainly because it radiates perpendicular to the planar structure and the ground plane effectively shield the human body. From this review, it is studied 
that substrate dielectric bending and antenna position, moisture, loss tangents and thickness will influence the performance and the characteristic of the textile wearable antenna. That's all for my presentation. Thank you very much.